Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Entropy Cast. This week, it is going to be a uh, the first face cam recording episode, because uh, why not, honestly? And that's a bit more chaotic anyway, right? So, we're going to be doing that, and uh, it's going to be a mess, as always. But, as you know, the Entropy Cast is a one-take straight show recording of me... Uh, monologuing about whatever the fuck happened in the last however long since last recording. As well as talking about some dumb shit. <laughs> because that's life. That's that's podcasting, baby. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Um, I did n- end up not uploading an episode last Tuesday. Because John, uh, the genius that he is, didn't save the audio so instead there's going to be a little bit of a surprise coming in on the next one and it's going to be uh it's going to be solid but this week we have a another Pabst Blue Ribbon that's Pabst Blue Ribbon baby tastes just like Pabst (laughs) but um we got the canned version this time whereas last time I had the um the bottle and uh, the can's got 16 fluid ounces, whereas the bottle has 12. Just a little fun fun can fact there. But uh, speaking of cans, in the last week, I've, uh, I've had a bit of a can incident. I, um, I was going to pick some people up. We were going to go get Torchy's Tacos. Okay, I know. I know, people, I've, I've got a problem. But I, um... I ended up going, picking them up. It was a hell of a drive, but it was worth it because Torchy's Tacos. And uh, on the way back for the first time, because I also took them back, on the way back for the first time, I had picked up a monster can when I was refilling uh, my gas. It was a monster can about yay big with one of those screw-on lids. And, um, well, it sat in my cup holder on the way there and on when we uh we stopped to get some milkshakes because we were like we got time we haven't eaten today we might as well grab something just to make it a little bit better a little more bearable you know and uh on the way well as soon as we got in the milkshakes they handed me two and i was like oh i need i need a cup holder so i can put this uh put this down so I was like, oh, let me move the monster can. So I picked up the monster can and slid it into the left-hand side of the driver's, like, you know, when you're driving a car, there's the little cup holder at the bottom of the door that's just wide enough to hold a can. Well, I slid it into there, and as soon as I let go and reached for the next milkshake, it exploded. It blew up. It didn't spew monster or anything like that. It literally just shot a monster across the car. The entire car was coated. And there was... I don't I don't know what it, what I did wrong. I've thought about it. It was popped open in two places. Two. So it just... I don't know. It just got mad. I, I really don't know what happened. I'm... I'm shocked, honestly. It was bizarre to me. But, um, the person working the drive-thru that handed me the milkshakes just sat there for a minute or two, looking at me, and I, surely, surely they had no idea what was going on there. They just saw liquid fly everywhere, and me sit there flabbergasted. Well, they, uh, <laughs> they sat there, and they looked at me, and, uh, they went, oh, we will give you some paper towels for that. So they walk off, and I'm sitting there, pissed. My car coated in monster. Just destroyed. And I was so sad. I It got on my phone that I was... I had, like, in a little phone holder attached to my disc tray so I could, like, use it for navigation purposes and music. And um, it covered my windshield. Completely covered it. It was a mess, and I didn't end up cleaning it. This happened on, I think it was, 
Wednesday. Yes, what it happened Wednesday, and today is now Monday of the following week. My windshield was like coated in monster and like nearly impossible to see through that entire time because it was so foggy and uh i was just like i was so upset man it was so stupid i I don't know what i was supposed to do about that and um i ended up cleaning that off today went and grabbed some windex went out there cleaned it off wiped it off that took about like eight minutes or something like that uh i can now see out of it uh, however, whenever I kick on the AC <laughs> or the heat, my car smells entirely of monster because it got in the vents and I'm going to have to live with that for the remainder of this car's life, which is a little upsetting, a little frustrating, but, uh, <laughs> what can you do? I guess, <laughs> but, uh, we ended up getting to torches and me being me, I ordered a uh, an alcoholic beverage. I ordered a peach margarita, it, a frozen peach margarita, and it was great. Let me tell you, the peach margaritas they have are amazing. So I would strongly recommend that if you ever end up going to Torchies, as I recommend everybody does. Again, I'm not sponsored. Why would they sponsor me? It, it's worth it. It's really good. And, uh, when I ended up, uh, getting back, I, I, uh, got back, well, I went and dropped them off, got back home, then sat around in my room for a bit, just hanging out, playing, I don't know, like, games, you know? No, I mean, what else do you do? And I, uh, I went to grab some paper towels because I am a genius and accidentally knocked over the water that I had on my desk. Um, but I've got a problem with some paper towels, all right? I got a problem with paper towels, a real problem with them. Every time that I have opened up, or not opened a paper towel, every time that I have picked up paper, why is my hat crooked? Every time that I have, um, went to peel up, whatever, the hat's crooked, there's nothing that you can do. I have went to peel off the paper towel part of the paper towel. I've, I went to, the, the, you know, the paper towel, and they're generally like two-ply or something. Every time I start to take that, like, get the paper towels off the roll, I somehow manage to peel the paper towel into the one-ply, and I try to fix it by, like, grabbing that and mm, grabbing both of the paper towel ply. And the sections just keep splitting apart for me. So I end up running one ply and then it wraps back around to three and then I pop it off because I can't get, I can't fix it any other way. I don't know how. And I will sit there and fight with this paper towel roll for like five or six minutes. And I realized that while I'm doing this, my desk is soaked in water, which means my keyboard is, my mouse is, it's like dripping off the bag and coating the floor. And I, uh, I just gave up. I gave up. So now the paper towels that I had, or yeah, at, had not now, but those that paper towel roll just ended up being like three ply because I could never fix it, and I don't know why. I don't know why I struggle so much. But uh, the water ended up falling on my Ethernet cable, which I am very, very happy wasn't like exposed. It's wrapped in, you know, rubber, like a cable is supposed to be. If you have an exposed cable, you have a problem. And, um, this, uh, this cable has been laying on the floor because I can't get it off the floor. I mean, like, I know how. I There is a way. I just haven't done it. So it's just been draped around my, uh, my place. It's been, like, run along the floorboards. It's been run along the ceiling with thumbtacks. It's been... It's just everywhere, man. It's laying, it's like coiled up and stuff like that. And it's a mess. It's a problem. But I hadn't, I, I don't know. I just haven't fixed it. I'm a monster, I guess. I've just got a cable running across the floor. But, um, this Ethernet cable has made me want to start doing, uh, some holiday decorations. Because I keep looking at it and I'm like, that. You know, 
that kind of reminds me of like Christmas lights. So I'm coming up with different ways I can decorate for the holidays already. I'm thinking maybe I'm going to do, what's the next holiday? Today is early March. What is the next holiday in March? When is St. Patrick's Day? Hold on. Looking this up. When is St. Patrick's Day? When is St. Patrick's Day? St. Patrick's Day is... Oh, March 17th. So for St. Patrick's Day... Oh, is that a Saturday? Nope. Nope. <laughs> that is a Thursday. Uh, for, I guess... The Friday or the Saturday following St. Patrick's Day, I will celebrate by recording an Entropy Cast episode, doing a lot of drinking to celebrate. And I've been thinking about decorating, and I can't really come up with any decorations for the next holiday. Like St. Patrick's Day, what do you do? Green everything? That's lame. Run around the entire apartment? Cover everything in green screen? Like, <laughs> what the fuck? Put up little leprechaun hats on the walls. <laughs> it's just a waste of time. I could dye my hair red to celebrate the Irish. <laughs> I don't know. How do you celebrate St. Patrick's Day through decorations? I could shrink myself down. Be a leprechaun. I don't know. I don't really have a good idea of what I could do for that. But, um... Uh, speaking of St. Patrick's Day... There... So, in the Lost episode that will be coming out... Eventually. Alright, I got a plan. I've had... I had a horrible drink. A very, very bad drink. It made me extremely sick. And it was the worst. But... I, uh... I've got... I've got a plan for the next episode. One of the things I'm going to drink. And it's bad. I've got, I don't know why, but I've become fascinated with creating the worst possible drink for each podcast. Other than today, because I just, I just wanted a PBR. <laughs> PBR is good, man. But, um, the... Next drink will involve more Arizona green tea. And it's going to be something. But y'all haven't heard about the other drink yet. So I can't tell you any more than that. But it's going to be worse. It's going to be really bad. But uh, yeah, no, the last episode was lost. Because uh, some people don't know how to save audio. Like, John, he, he he told me he saved it. He said he saved it. But all I know is I never received that audio and he couldn't find it. So to me, <laughs> that audio was not saved. It didn't corrupt. Or he would have had like the ability to go back and look at it. To go back and see that it corrupted and didn't just delete itself. So that's gone. Somehow, the guy who actually recorded for a while doesn't know how to save audio. And I'm a little upset about it. You could say I'm a little upset about it. I did pester him for like two weeks, and he never told me. But whatever. Um, however, one thing that I did did do in that podcast is I knocked over my hairbrush, which I never mentioned, but that fell and uh, shattered and it just scattered some hair around. But the problem with that is that I, uh, I'm, I, I got like long hair, you know, I got, hold on. I got, I got long hair. See? And, um, People with long hair will know that it is much more obvious when some of your hair falls out, say like it just dies and breaks off or you like brush your hair and it gets caught on the brush or it gets like snagged on something 
it becomes a lot more obvious when it's your hair and it stands out a lot more yeah, when it's like on the ground or something because you'll be walking along and it's like, oh look, a foot and a half long piece of hair. And uh, I've noticed it's kind of like a cat. Like I, I shed like a cat on occasion. And uh, I've started to think that I might be taking on some more cat-like qualities because the dishwasher in the kitchen, not in the bathroom. We do not have a dishwasher in the bathroom, but I know some people do. I don't know why. Those people are psychopaths. But I have a dishwasher in the kitchen, and whenever we turn it on, it gets warm, as dishwashers tend to do. But it also ends up heating up the... um. It also ends up heating up the uh, the counter above it, which means that you can sit on that counter and it is perfectly warm and incredibly comfortable. Okay, it's amazing. It's the best shit ever. And uh, I found myself doing that every time that the dishwasher is on. Pretty much, I because I start the dishwasher most of the time. There, are, there are a few times that I forget, admittedly, but I'll end up starting the dishwasher, and then if I'm not doing anything, I'll just like hang out on top of it, because <laughs> it's you know it's a nice warm seat, and I know that cats do that with like laundry machines. They'll hop up on top of if they're warm, or like a warm spot on the floor, and um. I've also noticed that I am very attracted to sitting on top of high areas. I don't know why. Like the fridge in the kitchen, I've come very close to jumping up on top of and hanging out up there multiple times. And I know it's a bad idea, but I'm it's going to end up happening one of these days. So I fully expect it. And I'm sure that when that day comes, I'm going to fall. <laughs> I'm going to fall and get hurt, but <laughs> what can you do, right? I'm on top of a fridge. <laughs> it's uh, There's something about high places that is incredibly appealing. Like, what is it with humanity's fascination to get higher? Like, you know, getting up on top of a mountain. Getting on, like, building tall buildings and wanting to just stand on top of them and look around. Like, I don't get it. There's something about people. That is innately attracted to high places and getting high, uh, both in the, you know, building sense and the uh, controlled substance sense. I don't know what, but it's uh, it's there. It's innate, like the ability to start fires. <laughs> and um, it's like I don't I don't know, man. Another thing that's innate, though, is Microsoft Edge is innate to fucking Windows nowadays. And that doesn't sound like a uh, sentence that makes sense. But Microsoft Edge will just reinstall itself if you uninstall it or if you remove it from your taskbar. If you restart your PC, it will just show up on the taskbar again. Like, I'm looking at it right now, and I know for a fact I removed it every single time it's come back. Speaking of which, it's gone. Next time, it'll be back. And I'm going to be very upset because it's always stupid. I don't understand why it keeps coming back. It doesn't make sense to me. I already told it to, like, uninstall. But, um, does does Windows or Microsoft more so think that forcing Microsoft Edge onto the taskbar will get them more users because they're like, oh, well, I can't get rid of it. I guess I'll start using it. Like, I don't, <laughs> I don't understand that business idea or that business direction I get. What is the word I'm looking for? The business plan. I don't understand that business plan. If we force ourselves to show up, people are going to have to use it. I don't... If anything, I'm less likely to use it now out of spite. Like, I, just to spite Microsoft, I now avoid using Microsoft Edge more than I would have had it not installed itself down there. Like, I went and installed um, Opera <laughs> just in case I need to, like, update Firefox and look something up at the same time. 
so that I wouldn't have to use edge. It's bizarre to me, and it makes no sense, but at the same time, it doesn't really matter. But now, out of spite, I refuse to use it. And, um, Microsoft does a lot of stuff like that. Like Cortana, that I keep shutting off and it keeps coming back. I don't get it. And also, the Cortana icon is stupid. It's a circle. It's just a circle, man. Come on. Windows does a lot of, or Microsoft does a lot of dumb stuff. Like, they ended up, I mean, I guess it's not dumb, but it's more absurd to me. They ended up buying out Activision Blizzard for how much? Like, $7 billion or something? Or $70 billion? Those are two vastly different numbers, but it's, it was in the billions by a substantial amount. That's insane. That's insane. They bought it out at the time that they're going through all the, like, lawsuits and stuff like that. They, they've got to have, like, a few big plans for that company. Or they're just buying the lawsuits. <laughs> and, uh, it's going to be a mess. And it's going to be something. But that does mean that they will now have the ability to, um, hopefully have better management. Which will lead to more Activision Blizzard games and less uh, in interior problems. I'll just say that to avoid going in depth on it. Maybe now that they're backed by a larger, uh, uh, this is very helpful uh, and optimistic. Maybe now that they're backed by such a large company, they'll uh, sort that stuff out. But I doubt it. This is Activision Blizzard we're talking about. There's been a lot of opportunity to fix it, and they've chosen not to every time. However, there's no way they end up actually putting out any games, I will say, any new games under the Microsoft Activision Blizzard label within, like, six months or a year, I bet. Because they have to completely restructure everything. Now that Microsoft owns them, any games that were slated to come out soon are not going to come out anytime soon because of the new developmental process they're going to be put through, which is both good and bad because it will result in a little more in-depth quality control, hopefully. Microsoft games are generally, uh, like, generally high quality. They lack some things in many instances, but they can be good. And, um... Hopefully they don't end up being like a Diablo Eternal thing where uh, people are like, man, I hope you have cell phones or something like that. Or don't you all have phones? That was a mess. And uh, we'll see. We'll, uh, well, I mean, I guess we'll have to see. It's worrying, but I am um, looking at myself over here in the camera. And I'm seeing this Pepsi Crystal hat that I've been wearing. I've I've had this for about four or five months now, I think. And I will say, I'm turning into a bit of a hat guy. I'm looking at hats. I'm looking at not beanies or whatever the other one is. The one with the palm. I don't I don't remember what they're called. Um, I'm enjoying wearing them because they keep like my long hair. Oh, hold on, I gotta fight with it. Oh, there it is. Hold on. Come on, green screen. There we go. Yeah, you can kind of see it without it. The green screen getting pissed. Uh, it keeps the hair out of my face if it ends up coming out of the uh, man bun at all. And it's just kind of useful. Like, I mean, it looks decent, I would say. The, uh, the hat kind of compliments it. I would say if I wasn't wearing a hat right now, I'd look a bit odd. And as well as my glasses that I'm normally wearing, but I didn't feel like wearing at the moment. I think the whole look comes together and makes me look like a 50-year-old. Which I wouldn't say is a positive thing. But I will say, I get carded a lot less. So. It makes buying alcohol easier. That's all I gotta say about that. Admittedly. Being carded isn't really a bad thing, 
because I feel like if they don't card people, there are going to be a lot of like, you know, you you already know what I'm just saying here. If, if carding people is important, but getting around the entire carding thing by looking older by wearing glasses and a hat is insane to me. I think it's bizarre. I don't look that old. Not at all. You know? Like, I look maybe... Maybe 22. Maybe 23 here. But as soon as I put these fucking glasses back on, man... Now I look like I'm 40. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I look old. <laughs> Especially if I look straight on and I'm here. You know what? I'll even sit up so that you can see me just looking straight into the camera from here. I look old. So let me take them back off and get comfortable again. It's a bit ridiculous. I don't understand why these glasses make me look so old. Admittedly, I think I've, I bought the dead frames, so that's on me. But the, um... The plastic frames felt too bulky. They just, they just didn't feel right to me, man. I don't, I don't know. So I didn't, up, I didn't end up getting those, but I might try them next time, because I've already broken my glasses once. So I popped the right lens out. I, th I think it was the right lens. The right lens out when I uh, put them in my pocket and pick something up. So uh, I just popped it back in. It didn't break or anything, but now it's more likely to pop out again because it's already been bent out of shape the frame has to the point where it allowed it to pop out. So I'm a bit worried for that. I'm a bit worried about the next time I um I end up grabbing it or the wrong way and it just popping out and being a mess to to clean up. But that that's neither here nor there. And um it's worrying. Admittedly I, admittedly I have a lot more stress now that I uh, have popped them out once. But what can you do, really? You can't really... I, there's no way I can go back in time. Time travel would be cool. Go back, fix my glasses, and then not change anything else. <laughs> I don't know. You, I, I don't know why that's the only thing that I want to use time travel for, is uh, not breaking my glasses. But... I guess. I don't know. If, if you got, like something that you would use time travel for that seems completely pointless and useless to anybody else just drop it, I don't know, drop it in the comments I, I think that shit like that's fun like the most useless thing I would spend $2,000 on is like a fun thing to think about for me, a gold leaf keyboard because I think it would look interesting and I would never use it, it would just be a solid gold keyboard and it wouldn't, it wouldn't do anything I don't know. I don't know why. I would, though. $2,000 on that? I'd also... Okay. Okay. I've been looking at merch. Entropycast merch. Just for my own entertainment, if nothing else. If it never ends up being sold. And I found one that allows me to buy a canopy. And I mean, like, the four-post metal canopy things. Solid black with the Entropycast logo. This thing that's normally not obscured by my head. Um, on it. And that comes out to $998. And I will admit, I've been very tempted. I would never use it. I don't have a use for it, so I'm not doing it. But I have been incredibly tempted many times now. And uh, every now and then I go back and look at it, and I'm like, today might be the day. <laughs> it's a problem. I need to just forget that it exists. But I keep thinking about it. Every time I see that goddamn logo, I think about that canopy. Now, I could go with the canopy. I could go with some shirts. There's some shirts I'm looking at. I'm looking at shot glasses, because shot glasses would be fun. Um, it just seems, like, fun, you know? Like, even if, like, designing t-shirts and merch and stuff like that is fun. Designing anything is fun. And, uh, we'll, we'll see what ends up coming out the Patreon should be on the next episode. The perks for it will be coming out eventually. Admittedly, 
not many viewers or anything like that at this moment, as of now. But, uh, I feel like it should be there just in case anybody is like, yeah, why not? I'll do $3 a month, you know? Like, I, just something. Just something. Because it does make, it does make this easier. <laughs> think about it, y'all. If you really want to think about it, if you really want to picture the Patreon in any light, think about it like you're paying for the horrible drinks I make. And the more money that goes into Patreon, the worse drinks end up being made. Think of it like a tiered upgrade system. Like, if by some, uh, like, fucking horrible miracle, we end up hitting, like, $2,000 a month on the Patreon, that's, that's obscene, by the way. If it ends up happening, I will end up drinking some horrible stuff. And I, when I mean horrible, I mean, like, mixing six different alcohols in, like, milk. And I mean, like, it's just going to get worse and worse each time. I will say every $500 mark we hit. I will say every $150 mark up to 500 So that's three. So it's 150 300 450 and when we hit 500 I'll do one then as well, just for posterity's sake, just to keep it even. And then at 750 and 1,000, I'll do stuff. And then at 1.5 and 2K, and then we'll see what happens from there. That That's, uh, like, that's too far out. That's way too far out for me to plan anything. But, um, some dumb stuff will happen at each one, whether it be drinks or whether it be a podcast at a stupid location that is makes no sense and no one will understand like me just going out to I don't know flying to Idaho and doing one in a potato field you know <laughs> it's just stupid yeah like that the the money from the the money from the patreon will be funding funding the dumb shit that happens on this podcast and that's it it's not going into pretty much anything else it'll be like yeah yeah It'll just be podcast money. We'll see. Fun shit. Fun shit. Um, I'll tell you what. If we end up hitting $1,000 a month, one of the first things I will buy will be the uh, the Entropy Cast canopy. Okay. First, one of the first. Just because. I, I think it would be fun, you know? Hey, we can use that in uh, all the future outdoor recordings. But yeah. That being said, uh, let me know if you got any stupid ideas for that. Let me know if you got any location ideas for the podcast. Let me know if you got any time travel uses that are completely pointless and literally useless. And, uh, you know, like if you enjoyed it. But subscribe. The playlist is up there. You can check that out if you want. It's got all the episodes. And, uh, yeah. Have a good one.